Hi, my name is Justin. I'm the producer, cameraman, and editor for Team Northrop. And I'm just here to talk about this new work laptop, the Origin Eon 17 X10 from Origin PC. Basically, this all started when I first started working here several years ago. I had Tony's personal little Dell XPS 13 laptop and it was okay for editing at the time. We were using 1080p footage from uh, like a 5D Mark II. So while it definitely wouldn't have been able to handle any 4K footage or anything like that, we were able to still work around that and it wasn't too much, too much of a problem. But needless to say, Tony needed his work laptop back. I'm sorry, personal laptop back and uh, got me a much better upgrade for video editing, which was the Precision M4800. The Dell M4800 had an Intel i7 processor. It had a 3200p screen, so it was almost 4K. It looked really great. Uh, it did have a dedicated GPU, uh, an NVIDIA Quadra graphics card, if I'm remembering correctly. And uh, it came with 8 gigabytes of RAM, but we upgraded it to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, right away. And that was actually a really good computer. We used that for a long time and it started sort of becoming a little bit of an issue when we started working on these massive projects with lots of 4K video and having to color grade them and so on. So there was always also just a little bit of delay while editing or I'd have to pre-render things or even occasionally use proxies, just tricks like that. So. Um, it was still somewhat a uh, smooth editing workflow. Which brings me to the Origin Eon 17 X10. This big, really powerful computer that has a lot of desktop components in it. Tony found this Black Friday blowout at OriginPC.com and this just has a lot of really cool stuff in it. It's not the most affordable or portable option by any means, but it is a vital work tool at this point. I don't feel like I could go back to the Dell Precision anytime soon. And here are the pros. The Origin PC here has an Intel i7-6700K quad-core 4 gigahertz CPU, which uh, actually comes overclocked 4.2 gigahertz from Origin PC. They overclock a bunch of other stuff too, as we'll soon see. This computer also came with the NVIDIA GTX 1080 8 gigabyte GPU, which is awesome. It's actually one of the faster GPUs that uh, was available at the time. They were able to cram it into this laptop and the performance is noticeably better. There's smooth video editing and playback and it's also really helpful for other applications like just 3D rendering or even in Lightroom, I've noticed it's pretty fast. It comes with this beautiful 17-inch display, 4K. I haven't really tweaked the colors or anything like that, but the colors look great. The detail is insane. It's a G-Sync monitor, which apparently is helpful with gaming. It prevents screen tears and such, but I haven't really used it for gaming yet. Maybe one of these days we'll have to give that a shot. It came with 64 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM at 2600 megahertz, so it's pretty fast from what I understand. Uh, it also has this customizable color backlit gaming keyboard, which isn't particularly useful except for whenever I'm working at night, which I often do at home. I always used to have to turn on a desk lamp, but then I have this, this backlit keyboard and you can customize the colors. It has millions of colors and all this stuff, so I kind of have a few settings saved, but just a neat feature. Uh, of course, there's a multi-gesture trackpad as well, although I prefer the mouse. Moving on to hard drives. This has a lightning fast RAID M2 hard drive. We did run some benchmarks and it seems to be just a little bit faster than the SSD that's also in here when we tested it the other day. We'll post those results soon. You can check sdp.io benchmarks for that. Tony has a video explaining exactly what we did. Needless to say though, I, I do think it's cool that it has that option in addition to several other hard drives. It has a 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD in there, which is sort of like my D drive. I just put photos on there for now. You know, it's still a pretty fast drive. And uh, there's another massive storage 
hard drive, a two terabyte Seagate 5400 RPM magnetic drive, which is like my E drive, and I'll archive old videos on that drive. It's not very fast as you can imagine. It's a magnetic drive, it's 5400 RPMs, but it's fine for archiving stuff. All right, on the back of the laptop here, there's your AC power port. There's an HDMI out, and uh, there's two 1.3 mini display ports. The promotion for this computer on the site indicates that you can connect three monitors at once without any docking stations or anything like that. However, right now, we do have it connected to a docking station, and this outputs to two other monitors upstairs. It's uh, pretty nice, and I actually have one monitor at home for just while I'm editing at home. There's tons of USB 3 ports. Really, just a lot of USB 3 ports. Uh, you'll also find your Sound Blaster card here, which has four in and out ports. It's kind of nice they give you all this functionality, because there's already been times where I've had like mics connected and uh, headphones connected, and for example, doing the live show from home because it was snowing. That was helpful. And uh, there's two of these USB 3 ports, which are actually really fast. On the left side of the laptop here, there's your KillerLAN Ethernet port. I believe this is a USB-C port, and then two more USB 3 ports. So, as I said, it's just full of USB 3 ports. Then I'll have it hooked up to a docking station, like I said, most of the time, which I think gives me like another four to six USB ports. Way more than I'd ever need. <laughs> I thought this was a cheesy feature at first, and I didn't care about it until I started using it regularly. Just having to sign in, we're always walking away from our computers, Windows is signing us out. Windows now has like a pin option, which is slightly faster, but this biometric fingerprint reader, I had it, a couple of my fingers assigned to this fingerprint reader, and it's so fast. It, it must be like a quarter of a second just to use this and sign in. And I, I know we're only talking seconds when it comes to typing in something on a keyboard, but it's just nice just walking right up to it and being right in Windows, no messing around. This is designed for overclocking. It comes with all this software straight out of the Origin PC facilities. It came overclocked like crazy. It does have CPU, GPU, and memory overclocking capabilities. And hands down, this is like the fastest computer I've, I've had the pleasure of using. Overclocking is a great option that they offer with, it seems to be, all of their computers. They cater to gaming, desktops, and laptops. This laptop here, it came with all kinds of cool stuff. Um, they send this huge, massive backpack that came with it. It has like a hundred pockets. It's a really nice bag. It's really well made. It's, you know, not very small or lightweight or anything, but it seems perfect for carrying this laptop around. Uh, it also came with this nerdy poster with some dragons and stuff on it. Uh, it came with some free games. It came with Watch Dogs 2. I just gave that to Tony. Tony likes games and I have a console at home. And uh, it did come with the USB 3 recovery flash drive, which is nice. If anything ever happens, I can use that. So some of those items, that's what we got, and that was tied specifically into this Black Friday special. I know they do have a lot of kind of nice options that they'll throw in with certain packages. So if you just go to sdp.io origin, then uh, you'll see everything they have to offer there. Cons. Here's what I dislike about this laptop since I've had it. It's huge. It's heavy. This thing is almost eight pounds. Nine pounds, actually. It's 8.6 pounds. It's heavy. It's unwieldy. It's so big, I'm not sure I could actually use this on a plane. Not comfortably, anyway. And um, furthermore, there's this massive uh, AC power brick thing. This thing weighs several pounds, too. This thing requires a lot of power. There's nothing... There's nothing lightweight and small about any of this stuff here at all. It's also noisy. We've had this opened up before, 
And there's several fans. There's definitely a fan for the CPU, definitely one for the GPU. Even when it's not, we're, we're not pushing it, when it's not working hard, there's fans going. And you can bet when we're rendering a video or something, the fans are like distractingly loud. The price, this was very expensive. This was $4,472, and that was with this Black Friday special. So uh, these Origin PCs, they're not cheap by any means. I'd say it's certainly worth it, but it's just not a laptop you want to drop or spill drinks in. It's, you just want to be really careful with this, and it's, it's an expensive computer. It's starting to make MacBooks look fairly inexpensive. In summary, I love this laptop. It's certainly not for any, everyone. Really, I'd say only if you're editing videos all the time or really, really into gaming uh, would this be appropriate. You could probably scale it back and get a less expensive, much more uh, manageable laptop for your Lightroom or whatever, but it's awesome for editing video. For rendering video, it renders videos all the time without any kind of a problem. It's really fast almost as fast as Tony's desktop upstairs with many of the same components. So, I, that's, that's about it. I don't have a lot of bad things to say about it other than it's expensive and it's heavy. Thank you for your time. If you're interested in any of these Origin PC items, feel free to stop by stp.io slash origin and check out what they have. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, but we will get a few bucks if you use that link and wind up getting stuff from them. Lots of cool accessories and, and stuff like that backpack on there as well. And this video, stp.io desktop, if you're considering a desktop computer. Likewise, if you go to stp.io slash laptop, then uh, Tony explains some options that would be nice if you're in the market for a new laptop as a photographer. And please subscribe. Subscribe, like this video, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.